Hello everyone. In this recording, I will be discussing the first activity for histology laboratory entitled Basic Microscopy and its use in histology. The objectives of this activity are the following. Explain the significance of each part of the microscope. Next, describe how each observation procedure is done correctly. And third, demonstrate efficiently and effectively the proper way of handling and manipulating the microscope. So in this activity, I know that you are all familiar with the microscope since you already discussed this one in your anatomy. So this will set us a review and we will have an actual manipulation of the microscope during the on-site activity. So uh, in this activity, we will be covering a little introduction about the microscope and its usage. We will have, um, we will be familiarizing with the different terms um, under microscopy and of course the parts of the microscope and um, the, the proper handling and storage of microscope. Okay, so microscope, this was invented by Anton van Leeuwenhoek. And the term microscope comes from the ancient Greek word mikros, which means small, and skopien, which means to look. So it is the instrument that we use to see objects that are too small for the naked eye. So this is our instrument for us to visualize, for us to observe the shape, the size, the position, connections, colors, number, texture, and even chemical composition of these small, tiny objects. So a microscope, this is a very important tool for our profession. So this is our best friend. So in each of our um, in each of the activity that we will be performing for the um, entire semester for histology, we will be using the microscope. So it's better to understand its importance and its usage be, uh, before the actual um, demonstration. So the usage of microscope, its parts and um, its different functions has been perfected over the past uh, 300 years since the discovery of Anton van Leeuwenhoek. And for the principle of microscopy, this is to get a magnified image in which structures may be resolved, which could not be resolved with the help of an unaided eye. So um, it's a very amazing type of instrument because by the use of this one, we can um, clearly see what's underneath of each of the um, specimen that we want to view under the microscope. Thus, um, the intent of this activity is to emphasize the value of the usage of microscope and um, to show the students um, how to efficiently and effectively operate the microscope so that it can serve its um, true purpose in our um, profession. Okay, the following terms are the um, common terms that uh, we might encounter um, in microscopy. The first one is magnification. So it is the ratio of the size of an object seen under a microscope to the actual size observed with an aided eye. So um, it is how much larger an object appears under the um, objective lenses than it actually is. So um, for the our ocular lenses, it can um, it has the average. Um, ocular magnify of 10 times and um, we are we are using this uh, magnification for us to make the organisms much visible and the next term is the resolution so it is the ability to distinguish two objects from each other so it's all about the details. So this must be a combination of magnification plus the resolution for us to clearly see the um, object 
under the microscope. Then, depth of field. It is the distance through which you can move the specimen and still have it um, focus. So that is why later on, on the parts of the microscope, we have different adjustment knobs where um, we can move our specimen, but without losing the focus um, on its clarity or on its resolution. Okay, so on the parts of the microscope. So when it comes to structure, uh, microscope is divided into three major parts. The first one is the head. Okay, this is the head and it carries the optical parts on the upper part of the microscope. And then the second one is the arm. Okay, so the arm, this is the part that connects the head and the base. And also, this is the part where we um, hold, uh, where we, um, yes, we hold um, in carrying the microscope from one place to another. And the third one, the third part when it comes to structure is the base. So the base, this, is, uh, this acts as the support of the microscope. And it carries the illuminators or the light source of the microscope. Okay, so um, for the optical parts of the microscope, um, here are the different parts. The first one is the ocular lens or the eyepiece. So this is the part uh, that we look through the microscope. It is uh, found on top of the microscope and um, the standard magnification power of each of these um, eyepiece is 10 times. And then we have our diopter adjustment. So in this portion, we can move this one for us to adjust and have a clearer magnification power or clearer view on our specimen. The next one is we have our... Um, objective lenses. We have four objective lenses. We have our scanner, we have our LPO or low power objective, we have our high power objective, and we have our oil immersion. So um, each lens has its own magnification power. So we are using this one for us to clearly magnify our object. And then we have our nose piece. So this is our nose piece. It is um, the ones holding our objective lenses. So this is um, um, revolving. We can also call this one, this part as revolving nose piece. So um, if you want to use the scanner, so we'll just um, revolve the nose piece. If you want to use the LPO or the LPO, so that is um, movable. And then we have our adjustment knobs. We have two, the coarse adjustment knob and we have our fine adjustment knob. Um, for the coarse adjustment knob, um, bigger movement um, to move our, um, to move the microscope up or down while the fine adjustment knob, smaller movement. And then we have our stage. So on the stage, this is the section in which the specimen is placed for viewing. So on the stage, we have our stage clip. The stage clip, it holds the specimen slides in place. And um, we can also move our stage using these controls. This is our stage control. It can move the stage on the side, um, left or right, then up and down. And then um, on the middle of the stage, we have this aperture. So this is a hole on the microscope stage through which the transmitted light from the illuminator will reach, um, will reach on the stage. And then we have our, um, this one, our light source. So our light source, so this is located at the base and it is used instead of a mirror since this is an, an, powered by electricity. So it captures the light from the external source um, or the voltage since this is an, an, powered by electricity to give light onto our um, 
and to have a focus light onto our specimen. And then we have our condenser. So this can be found at the um, under our stage next to the diaphragm. So the major role of our condenser is to ensure clear, sharp images. And um, it has, without the condenser, the image will not be as sharp as um, what we are going to observe under the microscope. And then we have our diaphragm. Our diaphragm, it is um, found under the stage as well. And the primary role of this diaphragm is to control the amount of light from our illuminator and that will pass through our specimen. So controlling the amount of light. And um, those are the major parts of major parts of our um, microscope. And the next is the handling, proper handling of the microscope. So when carrying the microscope, we need to use our, uh, we need to use both hands, um, right hand to hold the arm of the microscope and the left hand to hold the base of the microscope in order to avoid or yes, to for us to have a safe um, handling of the microscope uh, when we are going to transfer it from one place to another. Then table placement. When we are going to place it on the table, make sure the table is um, stable. Uh, the surface is flat. The surface is solid uh, to avoid um, to avoid tripping and to avoid some um, accidents and mahulog si microscope on the tabletop. And when it comes to the cord naman, since our microscope are um, powered by electricity, so we uh, each microscope, um, it is um, with a cord attached. So make sure that the cord is properly coiled to avoid tripping over it and may result to um, mahulog si microscope. Then when cleaning, when cleaning the microscope, um, we cannot use handkerchief, we cannot use any form of tissue. So we have this cleaning, um, we have this um, cleaning um, na mga um, materials for the lens in order to avoid scratches and um, to avoid damage on the uh, microscope. So, and we have another reminder here, do not remove any parts for cleaning. It only allows dust to enter the microscope. So we will just clean the outer or the external parts of the microscope. So that is already enough for us to ensure that the viewing um, areas of the microscope is completely clean. And for the last one, when we are already done with um, the usage of the microscope, make sure that the light is already um, off before um, removing the plug or the cord um, onto our microscope. And the stage must be at the center as well. Then position the nose piece so that the lowest scanning or our scanner objective is in place. And then remove the slide from the stage and put it in the proper place. Make sure that your stage is clear, no more slides present, and the stage must be clean as well. And then for the stage, we need to clean it with gauze and lens cleaner and wipe of any oil if we used um, oil immersion during the viewing. So make sure that everything is clean from the lenses uh, down to the stage. And of course, the cord must be wrapped around the arm to avoid tripping over it. And the last one is carefully carry with two hands and gently place the microscope in the proper cabinet. And um, each of the microscope, it has its own um, cabinet for us to ensure that it is safe, for us to ensure that the lenses will not be um, uh, free, will free from scratch and any form of 
um, dusts. So um, all of the things are uh, the reminders on how to handle and properly storage our microscope. So during the on-site activity, you will be um, from, from the first step down to the last step, it will be reviewed for, uh, for us to clearly understand and um, know how to properly handle our microscope from the first step down to its um, storage. So thank you everyone and may you have a great day.